Here is another uterus. Here is the smooth muscle part. And here is the smooth muscle tumor. Okay, before you say, okay, another stupid lyomyoma, let's move on to the next case. Let's study it a little more closely. First of all, let's study the normal smooth muscle part. And like any other normal smooth muscle, you can see the cells are spindly. If you cut them longitudinally, they look like little cigars. If you cut them transversely, they look like little circles. Notice that whether we study this field or 10 more fields like it, we cannot find very many mitotic figures. Perhaps if we studied 10 fields, maybe we'd find one mitosis. Smooth muscle cells normally uh, do not demonstrate mitosis on histology too well. But let's instantly move into the so-called smooth muscle tumor now. First of all, notice they don't look terribly normal. Some of them do, nice and spindly, right? But some of them look like their nuclei are just a little bit too big relative to the cytoplasm. And in addition, if we counted 10 fields here, we would find uh, a lot of mitoses. In this field right here, here's one, here's one, possibly this is one, probably these two are as well, maybe this is. So in just in this one field, we found four or five mitoses, whereas we could find 10 fields in normal muscle and usually find none. So if we are convinced this is smooth muscle, and we are, because parts of it look like exactly like smooth muscle, but we can see more than, let's say, two, three, or four mitoses per 10 high power fields, we are then able to diagnose that this smooth muscle tumor is not benign, but it's malignant. This is a lyomyosarcoma, and thank you very much.